scared just looking at it but you never know let's do normal because i'm kind of weak and <laughs> so sad don't forget some things mustn't be forgotten the shadow hunting me i must hurry my name is daniel i live in london at at Mayfair, what have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Is... I am Daniel. It's not my name. It's Daniel. here. Oh. Okay. Hello, people. Oh, but I'm using my computer. <laughs> I'm using my mouse and keyboard. Hello. Oh, what a lovely little place you have here. I'm gonna have a drink and maybe start a fire. No, what? Can't be breathing. Okay, well, so far it's not as scary. I say now before it gets scarier. <laughs> what use is a door if I can't open it? I think the most uncomfortable thing so far about this game is the breathing. I don't need to hear you breathe, dude. Hi, Baba. I'm looking for a good time. Oh. Can I put this on? Just for, you know, safety reasons? How it's supposed to be, because so far nothing's happening. I don't know if it's supposed to start things happening, but I don't remember anything, apparently. Because I have emotion! I have emotion! Apparently. 
So, is this the only thing I need to do? Oh, take this chair! Uh, oh, I can't throw it. There we go, okay. Aha! I have thrown chair. Still, no fire. I can't even start a fire here! How is this game supposed to be scary? Angels. Oh. Psh. Well, maybe I should learn how to open doors first. Can't really be very helpful if I don't know how to open doors. Take my helmet anyway. I don't care if you don't want me to take my helmet. It's my protector! I can't put it on, but it's still my protector, yo. I think when they had this in beta mode, I got to play the little tester teaser. Is that a person? That's kind of weird. Look at that person there. He's dancing too. Let's dance. Oh, put on your red shirt and dance. Take that. This kind of has like, it looks almost like oblivion, at least the art style does. Like the castle. I'm not exactly sure. Jesus! Beware when sending in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Okay, well, I like my sanity. I'm so glad I have all the lights on in my house, because that would kind of suck. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Next. What can I change? I want a little fashion montage. gonna start making me dark again. And I already feel like I'm losing my sanity as it is. I'm getting old. So why not add more A fragrant taste of rose lingers in his mouth. Turkish delights. He thought he likes the one with the constant edge. Okay, well. It's supposed to be blood. I don't remember blood being pink. I don't know. I'm trying to cut myself again. Okay, darkness. Hello. Fuck. Aha. Can I pick it up? No. Of course not. That would be too easy. I have a book. I'm gonna read you to death. Oh gosh, the music is getting scary now. Hey, I've got a book. I've got a book. I've got a book. I've got a book. Hey, 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 hey. No one can hurt me when I have literature next to me. No one can hurt me. Oh, literature save me. is my hands if I can't pick up things. Oh, wait, something. It's a lantern. It's F. Yay. Hello, sanity? I have 
you heard? Have you heard the good news? Have you heard the good news of Cthulhu? Hello? Cthulhu? Cthulhu! Where you be, Cthulhu? Ooh, a box. Excuse me. Stop vibrating, world. I thought I left my vibrator in the bedroom. Jesus Christ. I can't even open it. Oh, scary. <gasps> a broom. I don't want to clean. That's the scariest thing of them all. Said I don't want to clean, but I guess I will. But heads. Oh, maybe it's a magic broom. I have my lantern. Oh. Okay. Just gonna close this door in case anyone wants to come in. No, close. I say. Is that potions or blood? Take that box. I don't like you. You're not my friend. Oh, hi. Huh. of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. Hmm. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. I have Your a feeling that he's going to be right behind me. Daniel. Either that or the shadow's going to be right behind me. <laughs> uh. Okay, I picked up oil. Now who's going to oil me up? Ladies? <laughs> I have glass. I'll hurt you. Dang it, what? I have no oil left. I need to find an oil potion to make the lamp. Damn it. Can't I just, like, grab a candle? For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. For Christ. Okay, I'll bring my chair. Cockroaches. Wow. What a nice place. So what you... Oh, it's supposed to be. The olden days. Hello, birds. Hi. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Some wood. 
Give me some wood. <sighs> Normally people are okay when I say give me wood. Jesus Christ. box? What's up, motherfuckers? Did I pick you up? No. More to do boxes. Hey, you bugs. What? They're like, we don't care. the door. Jeez. I got chills. It's electrifying. And I'm uh, hitting myself with the door. What the fuck? It's tough and bad. I can't be told if my hands are tools. Soccer, yeah, it's all good. Oil. Hello. Oh, yeah, Why would I need oil when I just can grab one of those thingies and just like start burning stuff? Durr. I just start burning down this whole house. That's probably a better idea. say now before probably jump scares oh take this I will fight you with wood oh that was weird that was scarier than anything else oh. <laughs> got a box don't make me box you recent experiment has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients and in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are strained by the fumes and will be difficult to savage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. Aquaforce. 
I got pot. I mean chemistry pot. Why? It's not even that dark, dude. Control your anus. doing terrible things, I take comfort in you, as long as I am able to think of you, and as long and long for a life together. I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment to safe return. Or dark. Why do I freak? Okay, I guess I'm gonna fall down. What? Strong enough to move stone? Rude. can barely read English and now they're giving me some other language to hell. Now oh, this is a nice place. Let me see my sanity. Am I gone crazy yet? A slight headache. No, oh, oh. Maybe it seemed like I was really crazy, but uh rare books. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Google Translate. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. Sorry, the professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Should I start reading in a British accent? I mean, I already have a fairly an annoying voice, so make it more annoyed with bloody accent. Stop hissing at me, douchebags. Darkness. I'll go to the catalog room. No, no, open it. There you go. <laughs> is this a room of catalogs? Or is this a room of dogalogs? I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Burning Bun. Burning Bunk? <laughs> Berg. <laughs> this contract will bring it. Resign for a total of three hours of when my freedom shall be returned to me. An additional Alexander Baron of Berningberg is to recommend my services to a Parisian royal court. And within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle, may no man break the seal. 
Wilhelma. Hello. Hello. Who are you talking to? I hate it when I just randomly hear voices. Can I change clothes? No. I don't even know what I look like. Give me some. Can I just open the window and just like jump out or something? 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we oh, uncovered. Oh, no. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Mad that I did that? Jesus Christ. Hello, library. He's playing piano. I'm gonna throw boxes at you. Or ink. Which one do you want? Boxes or ink? I use the box because it's heavier. Who be dare, yo? Who be dare? I have a box. Dang it, did I just turn off the light? Oh no, that was my light. I've got oil in my lamps and I don't care. There's a lever? What? There's a lever. Am I missing something? Oh yeah, that squeak. I love the squeak. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Squeak. Squeak. people. Okay. Where is my mind? Where is my mind? I don't like paper. I don't like paper either. I don't like paper. No paper for you. I said no. God damn it, more paper. See, just take a match, light some paper up, yo. Oh. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been attended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. 
especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. I just decided to hide by the light, just in case. <laughs> stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. What? My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It seemed really hard to do. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Well, I, I gotta stay in. I reached out, closing it in my hands. And breaking it. The faint glow escaped my fingers mm. and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The it's next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. I don't see nothing, yo. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Dan. Okay. So, I have to be somewhere because I have a life. And as much as I'd like to play games that give me chills and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm probably gonna call this an episode, uh, at least for now, and we'll see if I decide on playing more. And it's not as scary as I thought it was. I know it's kind of advertised as being a horror game, so far not so much. It has given me chills, but so has Fallout because I'm a very emotional person and I like to kind of sink my teeth into uh, other people's feelings. So I do have a tendency to do that. Um, so I'll probably try this again, see if this is actually worth playing more of and see how this goes, I guess. <laughs> well, I want to say thank you. This is Destructo Kitty. You guys have a great day. Have a great rest of your life. If you ever see me again, I hope I do. Um, but please like and subscribe. And I hope to see more of you guys. Thank you. And good bye.